Hey, bleeping jeepers. Today we are going to talk about jacks. No, not that kind of jack. This kind of jack. This is a high lift jack. This type of jack's been around for over a hundred years. Back when I was a kid, we just called it a jack or a farm jack or a bumper jack. But today, the biggest manufacturer of this type of jack is high lift. High lift makes a few different models of this jack. This is the standard all cast 48 inch model. They come in smaller sizes, 36 inches up to five feet, 60 inches. They range in price from about $75 up to over $200 for the high-end model with all the bells and whistles. High Lift makes three different models, the Extreme, the All Cast, and the Cast Steel. The main difference between the three is with the lower end model, the Cast Steel is, is mainly made of high quality cast steel, but some of the base parts are made out of plain stamped steel, so it won't last as long. The all cast and the extreme are made out of all cast steel and are made to last longer with heavy use. High lifts come in black or red, but I've had mine powder coated to match the color of my Jeep. Now there are some other brands out there that also make this type of farm jack, but you should be aware of the differences between an original high lift jack and some of the no-name or knockoff brands. The high lift jack is made of solid high quality steel and the high lift is made and assembled in the United States. Some of the off brand and no name brands may be assembled in the USA but they're actually manufactured. That means the parts and the steel come from most likely China where there's less quality control and you really don't know what you're getting. And because the price isn't that much different between a real and original high lift jack versus one of the cheap knockoff brands, this probably isn't one of those things you want to skimp on. Anytime you're lifting thousands of pounds of Jeep in the air, you want to make sure you've got the best. You don't want it folding or buckling under the weight on the middle of the trail, especially if you're underneath it. Now a high lift can be used for more than just a jack. It really is a full recovery tool. A high lift is not made for changing your tires in the driveway. For that, stick with your bottle jack or the scissor jack that came with your Jeep. You can use a high lift as a clamp or a spreader. You can use it to break a bead off your tire. You can use it as a winch. You can take the handle off and use it as a breaker bar or a bat if somebody's getting in your way. You can use it to lift your Jeep off the rocks if you're high centered. You can even use it to lift it up and turn the Jeep around if you're really stuck. So it's more than just a jack. It really is a all-purpose recovery tool. Now a high lift is pretty simple to use. I'm not going to do a full how to use video here because there's a million of those on the internet already. But it is important that you read the instructions and understand how to use it before you try using it out on the trail when you really need it. If you use it wrong, it can be very dangerous. That's why you need to know how to use it the right way and how to use it safely. Basic steps are... You put the pin in the up or down position, depending on which way you want to go. And you jack it up. It's got a little retainer spring here so that you can lock it up. When you're ready to go down, you slap the pin down. And if there's weight on it, it will then jack down. Push the pin down with no weight on it, and it'll slide right down. That puts it in free movement mode. Now, maintenance with the high lift jack is pretty important because if those pins don't move in and out easily, you won't be able to get it to move up or to move down or it'll get stuck in one position or another. I actually had a little bit of trouble just now getting it to go from the up position to down because I just had it power coated and painted so it had to be degreased and there's no lubrication in there so those pins weren't moving in and out very well. So first you want to make sure that you keep all the mud and dirt out of it as best as you can. And then every once in a while, every couple of weeks or every few months, just spray a little uh, lubricant or WD-40 in on the pins and all the moving parts. That'll help keep the moisture out and that'll keep everything moving smoothly. If there's any mud or rocks or even paint like I had stuck in those holes, these pins won't move in and out easily and that's going to give you trouble switching from up to down or even getting it to go up or down. Now there's several different places you can mount a high lift. As you see, I have mine mounted on the hood. For those that are wondering, at least for a, on a Jeep JK, you can open the hood with the jack installed. It's got perfect clearance, there's no issues. 
although it will interfere with your windshield wiper sprayer. You can relocate that windshield wiper sprayer, but with the jack mounted on the hood, on a JK at least, it's gonna block your windshield juice sprayer. You can mount it on the front bumper, you can mount it on the back bumper. I've seen them mounted on the roof. They'll go just about anywhere you've got room. Now, if you mount your high lift on the hood like I've done, you'll notice that it rattles quite a bit. And that's because the base here is only held in by a cotter pin. So that's loose and it moves around and it rattles. These parts up here will also rattle a little, a little bit. There's a couple of ways you can fix that. When it's mounted on the hood, you can just get some Vel Velcro strapping and uh, you would lower this down and, and strap it so it's tight. What I did, and this is a great fix, is I drilled and tapped a hole right here and put a set screw in so that it holds the stanchion into the base. That keeps it from moving around. Now some people will say that the base is intentionally loose like that so you can have some movement. I don't know that I'd ever want to have movement like that when my jack is lifting up my three or 4,000 pound Jeep. Uh, so that will keep it steady. It will prevent any movement and more importantly, it'll keep it all from rattling. Now there's a few accessories that you can get for your high lift. There's various different mounts that you can get. I got the hood mount for the Jeep JK. It was really easy to install and fits perfectly without having to drill any holes or anything. It goes right into the existing hinge bolt holes on your hood and it does allow you to open the hood with the jack mounted. Another nice accessory is this base. This is just a heavy duty ABS plastic base that you put the jack in. This is useful if you're in uh, mud or soft sand or something, they'll just give it a little bit wider base to spread the weight out so it doesn't sink as easily. If you're good with a fabricating machine, you could just build something your own with some large blocks or uh, sheet metal steel. It's not very expensive, it's good to have. Another nice accessory is this neoprene cover. It costs about $27 and that will cover the main workings of the jack here and help to keep some of the moisture and most of the dust and mud out. Something to remember though with this type of a cover is that it will also keep the moisture and mud and dirt in if it's already in there. It is important to keep all of this clean and lubricated and if you put this on when it's all wet and there's mud in there that's just going to lock some of the moisture in and it could cause problems. So there you have it. Now some people will tell you that you don't need a high lift jack at all. Other people will tell you that it is the most important piece of equipment you should have out on the trail. So what do you think? Do you have a high lift jack? Do you think it's an important piece of equipment to have? Leave a comment down below and let us know what you think.